We are on to page six, and we are going to start learning how to change the notes on the instrument. So um, the instrument can only make four different notes with the strings by themselves. To make more notes, we have to put our fingers down and shorten the string. Every time you shorten the string, the note's going to go higher. And our goal is to push the string down enough that the string hits the fingerboard and sounds as clean as the open string. So if I am hitting the fingerboard and it's only, or if I'm hitting the string and I'm not pushing it all the way down, I'm gonna get this muted thuddy sound. So you want the clear pitch as uh, as much as you can. Notice on my instrument I have a little thin strip of tape here. It's black so it blends in. Um, on the If you are taking my fifth grade instrumental music class, you will have a sticker that has um, three different lines, one for each first, second, and third finger, and then a fourth finger line we, would, we won't use for a while. Uh, if you're on uh, sixth grade or past uh, middle school or high school, you may have no tapes, you may have one or two tapes in particular places. The important thing to understand is that we're listening for the sound. And one of the reasons that um, I like doing these videos for you is that I give you the sound and you want your note to sound the same as mine when we're playing. So you're gonna use your ear to make sure it matches. So. Here's the rule of thumb. When you put your finger down, you want to press all the way down till we get a good sound. If the note is a little lower than mine, then you need to bring your finger closer to the bridge. The closer to the bridge, the higher the sound is going to be. If your note's a little higher than mine, then you need to bring it down. You got to bring it closer to the scroll. The scroll, closer to the scroll, the lower the pitch. So. I know everybody's gonna to wanna to try this, so if you pluck the string and then slide your finger, you can tell how much it changes the note. Okay, so we're looking for the note G in number 10. Number 10 is called Let's Read G. You have a G string on your instrument, it's the lowest note. And then, like I said in an earlier video, we only have seven letter names, so uh, we have a G down here and then third finger on the D string is going to be the G an octave higher Octave is a fancy German word meaning eight notes away. So we have one two three four five six seven eight And we're gonna find that note And you can use the low G for reference. All right Now that you've got your G set up go ahead and lay your other fingers down your second finger is going to go right next to your third finger and then that first finger is going to split the open space between your second finger and the end of the uh, instrument here. So the finger position looks like this and you're going to lay it and our hand doesn't go in like a cello. It doesn't go straight in like this. We actually curve to meet the um, comfort level of the violin. So your thumb and your first finger are still here. We've got a nice open gap between, if you can see it, between our thumb and the base of our thumb and the in instrument neck. And if I stand up a little bit, you can see I have a completely flat wrist. I'm not going pancake and I'm not going gooseneck. Okay, so straight wrist. I've even seen some jokes online where they put a plastic fork in the watch band with the tines facing this way so that if you start to bend in it'll poke you um, but I won't make you do that all right so we're set up to play G there's low G here's the reference for high G and we're gonna play number 10 one two ready go Here it is at a faster speed. One, 
two, ready, go. After you've been playing a while, especially when we start playing notes with the left hand, make sure that you're shaking your wrists out and that you're rubbing that area in between the carpal tunnel or in the carpal tunnel in between your bones of your wrist to get them loosened up. You'll get the same stiff wrists as if you play uh, video games for a long time or if you spend a long time typing on the computer. Okay, in the next video we're going to move uh, our third finger out of the way and get ready for F sharp.